Hey guys, Pima91, I'm bringing you a video today. Now, before I get this video started, I just want to say I like GameStop. You walk in there, I like how the store looks, I like how mo most of the time I like how the staff treats you, they, and I like how most of their staff tend to know about the games because let's face it, you still walk into Walmart and I think sometimes Best Buy and the people don't even know about the game, you'll be like, hey, how's this game that you know, maybe that you missed the trailer or something so you want to figure out how it is, they're like, oh, well, I don't really know about that game or something. But you go walk into GameStop and they seem to be like, oh, this game is this, this game has this, you know. Th their staff seem to be well-versed with the games that they sell. So overall, I like GameStop. But when they pull crap like this, I have to call them out. Now, for those of you who don't know, GameStop announced a Switch bundle, which is good. Switch needs bundles. Bundles really sell consoles because people like to get the console with some games. They don't like to just get the console by itself. But... The bundle for the Switch is $4.99, and it comes with, obviously, the Switch, and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and 128 gigabyte SanDisk microSD with adapter. Now, let's just do the math to see what those things would cost separately. Let's do it together. And to make things easier, let's just round everything off. No $2.99.99, just $300. Around $300 for the Nintendo Switch. $60 for Legend of Zelda. $20 extra because it comes with the DLC for Legend of Zelda as well. And Mario Kart is $60. So that's $140 for the games and the DLC. Then the, the SanDisk 128 gigabyte micro SD is about $45 on Amazon. So let's just round that off to 50. That's $190 for the extra stuff that comes in the bundle. Okay. You add that to the $300, and you have $490. But the bundle is $499.99. So you're telling me I'm paying an extra 10 bucks to get them all together when I could have bought them separately for cheaper? Come on, GameStop, this doesn't make any sense. The only thing I can really think of is that how people talk about shady practices with GameStop, which I said in the past they have done some shady stuff, but this is a little bit too in the open. Because people, I think a lot of people like me are going to look to see how much these things cost by themselves and realize that GameStop is actually in the bundle charging them more. I just don't get it because to me, a lot of people like me are going to do the math and they're going to realize that GameStop is actually overpricing the things in this bundle. But on the other hand, it is true that some people may, you know, may just look at the bundle and go, oh, look at all that stuff you get for $4.99 and not do the math and then buy it anyway, not realizing that they actually spent more money than if they just bought the council and the games and the micro SD card separately. Some people may be, some people may do that. And who knows, that may even be GameStop's plan here to try to take advantage of people who, who aren't going to do the math. But still, it doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to bring out this bundle and for it to actually cost more. If it just costs the same, if, it, if it's even Steven, that's fine. But more? You're going to charge people more for the bundle than the stuff in the bundle is actually worth? How does that make any sense? Anyway, that's my opinion on this matter. Why don't you guys tell me yours in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.